If you're watching this video, then I guess you fall into one of two camps. The first is that you haven't got your tow bar yet and you're intrigued about how easy or not it is to fit. And I'll show you that in just a second. If you're in the UK and you haven't ordered your car yet, then make sure you choose the tow bar when you order, as you can't retrofit it at a later date due to an EU law. The second is that like me, you're struggling to fit your tow bar. If you are struggling, then there's probably something wrong and you should probably book in a service appointment. Fitting the tow bar shouldn't require a tutorial video when it works, it's really simple. To fit the tow bar, you remove a plastic cover under the bumper using a normal flathead screwdriver and there's just two screws to turn. Then you pull out the plastic protector that protects the mount on the car. You then pull and twist the knob on the side of the bar just like the sticker shows. And then you simply push it up into the hole on the car, you hear it click and away you go. The tow bar itself is really firm and ready to take the load of a trailer or for me a bike carrier. If you haven't got your car yet then hopefully this is what it's like for you. For those of you that are struggling here are some of the things I found online to try and get it to work. I wasted literally hours of my life trying to get mine on and it just wouldn't connect. I found an online forum with lots of people reporting the exact same problem. The bar would stay half in place, but the spring inside just wouldn't release the ball bearings that lock it into place. At first I assumed I was either doing something wrong or I could make a small change to fix it. So here are some of the things I tried and you'll probably find online as well. So the first thing I tried was to file down the edges a little bit. I read that the fit is just too snug and that filing off some of the paint can help it just drive in a little bit further to force out the ball bearings. But this didn't work for me. Next, I was convinced that I wasn't pushing it hard enough into the mount, so I tried using a small hammer just to gently persuade it in, but that didn't work either. Then I tried using a car jack to force it into place, which also didn't work. Then the only thing left was to call out the mobile technician, and he was confident that it would only take him a minute or so. Well, one hour later, he said it would need to go into a service centre. In total, my car had to go back to Tesla twice to fix this issue, plus the mobile service technician visit as well. And if I'd have known this from the start, then I wouldn't have wasted all that time thinking that I was doing something wrong, which I guess is why I'm making this video. If your tow bar isn't easy to fit, then stop and book a service appointment. They ended up removing the bumper and replacing the entire mount on the car, which is obviously something I couldn't have done. Now it's as easy as anything and it's great, and I'll be doing some reviews and tests on how it impacts range at a later date, so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in that content. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you again soon.